It's mushroom day. Yeah, out here in the middle of the woods of Upper Michigan, we are searching for fungus. Every week, every Tuesday, I plan on doing this. So at least once a week, you'll be watching me mushroom hunting. Learning about different mushrooms we have in Upper Michigan, and eventually, I'd like to make some videos of us preparing the mushrooms and eating them. So look for that. So anyway, I'm walking through the woods here on my Tuesday hunt and uh, <laughs> I really like what I see so I'll share it with you so first off I saw that one I thought oh look at that monster look at that monster look at that huge and then I stopped and I was like wow there's one there oh there's a couple there and there there's one back over there I see some up there some here there there <laughs> it's gonna be a great day it's gonna be an awesome day right now my uh, buddy Matt is uh, back cutting firewood while he's cutting firewood I like to explore and see and find mushrooms <laughs> and uh, well today's my day I don't know if you've uh, watched my past video Holy mackerel, man. I'm gonna fill my bucket right here. I don't see many that way. I don't see many that way. There's some here at my feet. There's more going that way. I might not fill my bucket, but it's gonna be a good day. Oh yeah, there's there's lots of good mushrooms here. And I don't need to worry about some of the icky ones and ones that can just stay out here. I'm trying to give them a clean cut off the bottom as to uh, keeping the dirt out of my bucket. That's a nice one. Look at that, that's huge. That one's kind of ickies. Yeah, so there's a few, you know, they're kind of brown. I, I, We could take these home and dehydrate them, but uh, really there's, there's enough other mushrooms here for, for me to take that I'm gonna be picky. I'm not gonna be picky about that one though. Dirt off and three for. I got a three for here. There's more over there. Oh, that's a nice one. Uh, that's a three for in itself. There's a kind of brown on the edge. That's a. Not too bad one there, I don't guess, huh? It's all good eating from here, I can tell you that. All across Upper Michigan and Wisconsin right now, people are picking them. I think they're better than morel mushrooms, personally. They're a lot more chunkier. They taste pretty darn good. So here's another example. These are older. I'm not gonna bother with them. Again with these, looks like the bugs have uh, had a good time at those, but these, nothing wrong with that. We'll take that one down here. There. I try to leave a little bit that I can. So I'm just doing a little walk around the area where I found these and uh, just to kind of see where I am and uh, where the mushrooms are so I'm gonna finish up cleaning this little area here and yeah it's gonna be a good day
You talking? Not about these. Stop talking. Unless my camera's going. We just found all these. No, we didn't. They found us. They found us. Somebody sent me to them. I just met up with a dragonfly. I thought he's gonna tell me a little bit more about that mushroom. That's what it was, man. I was. But he turned the camera off. What's right under your foot on the right? What's that weird brown? Oh, right there is that one right in front of that one? That one both. There was a black one. Did that ray sheet back there? This one. Matt. That one. one of these. Yeah, that's what's right next to Jason's okay. foot, I thought. It was a black mushroom. Uh, this is kind of a continuation of the uh, my last time. I don't know what that was. I think that was a frog. I'm not sure. I'm going to take the back. Because I've never seen this before. Yeah. It's got teeth? Yeah. Oh, yeah totally it, nice. it looks like it's got the colors of a reishi, kind of. Yeah, you know? that's cool. I'm sure check this out. Ken. I've never seen this before. Oh. Well, it's yeah. not very Some kind of hedgehog, I would imagine, huh? Uh, something akin to it. Anyway. I don't yeah. know about edibility. Right. I'm going to leave these here. Right. right. I'm going to leave my backpack right here. Yeah. So, like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to pick area. I mean, yeah. There's it over there. We're going to be here for at least 40 minutes. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't see much more. You may as well just go back to the truck. I'll, I'll, I'll clean up here. You know, because there's not... There's not mushrooms everywhere, and that's not why I'm stepping stupidly crazy right now. Look at that one. More. I need more. <laughs> well, the bad thing is, is that uh, I unfortunately have uh, bad dreams now, and they involve mushrooms because of Matt. Right. Like, want to walk out in the yard in the middle of the night just to, uh, you know? Yeah. It's a handful. Yeah. Whoa. That's a that's a nice mushroom there. Nice mushroom. Somebody's got their Wi-Fi on again. Who's got their Wi-Fi on? My Wi-Fi, my GoPro's going. <laughs> Where are you? I I hear you. That's all right. It doesn't bother it. You could probably access it and watch me right now. Boy, these were good, man. Great. Right? There's a lot of them in here that are just. Uh... Some of them, but yeah, some of them are at the point of, but then some of them are perfect. Yeah. See, that's just too eaten and lucky and. So I got a phone call last night from a local college wanting me to come in there and discuss my YouTube video channel and I'm not good with crowds. That's not going to be good for me. I'm actually thinking they just wanted to learn about my mushrooms. <laughs> no, I just, I'm not good with crowds. One, two, three, four. It's a nice foursome. No, maybe as time goes on, I'll uh, I'll do something like that. Huh? I see. Uh, we're gonna move. This area right here is just kind of uh, kind of bland. Get away, Ken. Get away. And uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna chillantly move over here when nobody's looking, and uh, get these nice ones that are uh, ready to pick. <laughs> right.
Wow, look at that one. Oh, hey, that's one mushroom. That's a beauty. That's a keeper. That's, that's a keeper. Yep, yep, yep. Of course, uh, our partner should know by now that we're on him because he's picking like crazy. That's a nice mushroom there. Sorry, buddy. It's as big as my hand. I'm sorry. Did you just say you had a houseboat or a boat full? Houseboat. A houseboat full? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I can I can move three feet over now. All right. I'll walk back this direction. There's just so many that you can literally walk by a clump and not even see them. Taking pictures. No, just, it's just taking pictures. I didn't sign no waiver. You can't use my picture without my permission. I seen that this beautiful clump there. Too far. So what kind of shrontels are those? They're another kind. They're not the kind we're normally picking. No. Nope. They look orange. We found one of these that one day and I showed you how the gills yeah. have like the web yeah, that the goes. Yeah, yeah. they look exactly like a chantel would. Yep. This is uh out of curious, we consider this to be the chantrel, but I think they're wrong. It doesn't matter. It's a chantrel. Edible, and they're small, and we're picking. I should just tell my YouTube viewers that I'll put out a video every Tuesday, and we'll just do a foraging, uh, foraging Tuesday. Yeah. Until we can't anymore. Okay. Those that want to watch can watch, and those that aren't interested, go to another video. We're on them. We are on them. Love it when you're uh, walking in the woods and no idea where they went to. Hmm. Yeah, I, I can't even hear them. Oh, I see them. Through the trees. I saw movement through the oh 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 right there. Bolete. Blue staining bolete. See? Turns blue pretty much right away. Watch this. Ah whoa. Pretty cool, huh? It's like magic. Holy shit. Watch this. I get the stem piece. Do it the rest of the way. It's white now. And now it's not. <laughs> Magic before your eyes. That's pretty cool. One last time for the kids at home. <laughs> yeah, I want to see those. Yeah, these, these are, are cool. pretty cool. Watch this. Here we go. White. That's pretty neat. So what causes them to do that? Well, I look like a mushroom scientist. I'm not a mycologist. <laughs> I'm a forager. I don't know. Uh, I've seen this before. I've only done it once, other, one hmm. other time. I just stumbled literally upon this. That's neat. And so I thought I would do it. Now I'm going to go home and learn everything I can about this mushroom because I had my fun. So I might as well commit some brain cells to memorizing it. If I ever find it again and I pull that trick, I guess I know all the babble that goes with it. Now that was pretty cool.
Look at the bottoms, of, you know, the bottoms are smooth on them. Easy up and down there. That's pretty wild, huh? Yeah. It's so soft right now, too. Yeah. yeah a couple of more mushrooms to go. Now just an incredible Mushrooms, mushrooms. And now we gotta go pick up our mushrooms that we uh, set off the side of the road here. Somewhere. They're right here. There they are. Yeah, I'd say that's a nice haul. Yep. <laughs> and firewood too. Not a bad day at all. Yeah, and just like that, our day is over. That's my little cut for today. I give them most of my mushrooms. I don't give them all my mushrooms. All right. So... We're just going to brush off a little bit of the dirt, cut off a nice clean end. I'm going to cut all these up and in a minute we will uh, slice them. So we were just debating on should we eat these tonight or save them for another time. We decided that we're actually going to saute them up. I'm not sure. I, that, I know that's not one. We decided we're just going to saute them up tonight and uh, eat them another time. Freeze them. Once you saute them, you can uh, freeze them and they're just as good. A little dark spot. We'll cut that off of there. Well, that's a nice mushroom there. You saw what it took. I mean, most of what you didn't see was us walking. And when we found mushrooms, I turned on my camera and filmed us picking them. I'd imagine about six hours in the woods today. Um, these are the mushrooms I took home. A lot of them, you know, I forage with Matt because he's got a farmer's market tomorrow in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and I've got no problem walking with a friend helping him make some extra money for his family. So it's part of the swap out. If we uh, pick enough mushrooms, I get to take some home. So that's what this is. And of course, if I go out and uh, pick mushrooms on my own, he's always willing to buy them. So, sorry buddy, you can't eat that one. I want to eat it. So preparation wise, pretty much simple. You see what I'm doing. And after that, we'll go in the kitchen. We will uh, um, saute them in some butter, salt, pepper. And that's pretty much it. A little extra seasonings, depending on what you like. It can be a little bit of everything, I guess. Next. That'd be fancy, just like how you do normal mushrooms. Voila, just like that. Oh, oh look at that monster. Like I said, there's no special way to cut these. Just whoever you might want to slice them. This is the 
the same knife I used to pick them out of the woods. That's a mushroom there. might turn into a mushroom train video just so you know all right and that is a finished product nice cut up mushrooms so if you happen to be interested in trains I'll make sure to include that link down below I've got a train to go catch we can throw a good lob of butter into the pan Mm, garlic and mushrooms. Now we're talking. A little bit of salt. I want some pepper. A little bit of minced onion. Try to get that garlic and butter and everything all mixed together. And we're gonna cover this and let it cook down a little bit. And next best thing you can do is cover it up. Oh, aren't they looking good? So from this point, I'm going to take them, I'm going to put them in freezer bags or some sort of freezer container, mark the date on them, mark what they are, and freeze them. We can use them later on down the line in soups. Maybe we'll heat them up for steaks or throw them in a casserole, but... That's the best thing to do for them. Um, if you don't want to saute them, you can dehydrate them and they'll stay forever in the freezer. So that pretty much covers this video uh, as far as picking them, preparing them, and cooking them. If you've ever cooked mushrooms before, you pretty much know what to do from this point. So I want to thank you for following along on my Foraging Tuesday. I hope to see you again next week and the week after. This is something we plan to do every single week, and I plan on bringing you along. So if you like this video, please give me that thumbs up. Hit that share button. Hit that subscribe button. Check me out on Facebook. See all the videos that I have to offer. And if you like mushrooms, I definitely have them for you. If you're interested in any of these mushrooms, you can purchase them in Green Bay, Wisconsin at the Farmer's Market on Wednesday. It runs all day, I think. It's called the Farmer's Market on Broadway. Check them out. Also, these mushrooms are available from the Shiitake Creek Mushroom Company in Aurora, Wisconsin. Or if you're here locally, Iron Mountain area, you can buy them at the Iron Mountain Farmer's Market Saturday mornings from 8 to 12. I'm often out there. Maybe I'll see you there. Have a great day, everybody.